This is a message to my generation. But first, let me take a selfie. Hashtag selfie, YOLO, twerk. Just a few of the words that have consumed our daily lives, our work. And by work, I mean our purpose, what we were sent here to do by an amazing creator, but we've forgotten about him too. You see, we care more about the amount of likes on an Instagram photo than the amount of love we show. And we turn on the TV the second we get home, but we turn our head when we see someone alone, someone lost, someone hurting, but we're too busy rewording a tweet. And we live in this little bubble where our nice life is so sweet. Self-sufficient, self-serving, isn't it unnerving that we live in a world that values material possessions and doesn't bother to ask the question if what we do is right and instead, does it feel good? I mean, if it feels good, it must be right. But we forget that most regret comes from what seemed to feel good at the time. I mean, we say we want to change the world, but all we do is change our status. But Molly, I post about Jesus. Yeah, well that's good and fine, but a selfie with a Bible verse? I guess what I'm implying is that it's about making everyone else think that our lives are so grand. Funny how the boastful were the ones Christ couldn't stand. And it's not surprising how walls of insecurities are rising when we're constantly comparing our backstories to the highlights of everyone else's lives. And I meet more girls every day who would rather die because they see themselves as worthless. They think their life has no purpose because who can compare to the image of beauty and vogue that is seemingly perfect? Guys getting high and using girls like a drug. Because bro, you ain't cool unless you're living like a thug. And it's just a circle of using and being used. And I'm so done with the gift of free will being abused. It's time to make your life worth something more than just the highest score on Flappy Bird. You have a voice that should be heard. You want to be happy and love yourself more? How about you stop focusing on you and start opening a door? Covering a meal, live your life in a way where the person you portray isn't a copy of the person who the world tells you to be. Cause the very best version is the one that can break free of all the influence and find that inner confidence. And once you find that, you're gonna start to realize that you don't need more than 12 likes to feel pretty. And you won't want to subtweet to get others pity. Once we can all reach this point, that's where change begins to happen. And maybe I'm crazy, but I have this vision that our generation breaks the stereotypes of religion. That we break down the walls of judgment and pride. And instead, with arms open, welcome everyone inside to a place where we can all come together to do the things that God really wants. Like loving each other and loving Him. More than ourselves and more than our things. Now some say that won't happen. So I challenge you to make the change in yourself and change what the future brings. Because maybe social media sets what is the norm, but I for one won't be frozen in a world I've been chosen to transform.